What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a beautiful day in New York. It's supposed to be 60 degrees and we are loving the March and the year that we've had. Uh, it hasn't been a lot of snow this year. We're not complaining about it. So yeah, I think it's time for the summer setup. The sign is going to be worked on today. We're, it's a two part phase today. We are going to be setting up the wheels and the suspension. Uh, we do have springs that we have to replace. We are going to add the tires and also replace the camber arms that are on the Scion uh, with aftermarket camber arms so we can get a little bit of adjustment. Uh, the goal for the Scion is a more stancy approach. Um, so we are going to be doing a little bit of stuff today with the suspension to take a look at it. So what we have today is let me get out of the light so you guys can see. We have Vordovan wheels. Uh, these are 18 by 9.5, uh, 35 offset. And obviously, in the tires we are using is uh, 215 40. So, yes, we are doing a little bit of a stretch to them. Uh, nothing too major. Um, and the wheels are, the tires are nothing too special. They are a little bit noisy. Uh, we did try them on last year, but we had a bunch of leaking issues. And hopefully, uh, those leaking issues are fixed today. Um, Alex has been ha leaving them on the TL and, uh, so far, so good. We haven't been having any other leaking issues. So, game plan for today. Coils, springs, camber arms. Uh, coil, springs, camera. They're all the same thing. Uh, coils and springs. So, coils, camber arms, wheels. And unfortunately, we are going to be removing the splitter kit. Uh, as much as I like it, it is a little saggy um, in the middle. Um, we do, and I just got a confirmation Friday, Friday, that we do have a lip kit on its way. So that'll be here Wednesday, we're gonna send out the painting, and then that'll be phase two, and you guys will see all that. Hopefully we'll be able to get in with the painter and watch his magic and see what's going on there. So, um, and also he will probably be doing the body kit, and by probably, more than likely, he will be doing the body kit for the Skyline. So. We're just waiting on Alex. Oh, and we do have a visitor today. His name is also Alex. He does drive a Scion TC as well. Um, I'm actually buying his camber arms from him to put onto this. Um, so, let's, uh, I have to play a little bit of Tetris to move cars around because there's gonna be a lot of people in my driveway, including my family and stuff like that. And I have to move the car over here because this is the only place other than where the Skyline is for something flat, so or something that's semi-flat. So let me move the Scion and move all these cars around so I can uh, do stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch back up you guys when I get here. Actually, if I am correct, which I am most of the time, Alex should be coming down right now. I, I was talking about whether or not we should go get, I was actually thinking about going to get some, but that works. Um, He's not here yet? No, Alex's not here yet. Um, say hello to your people, to our people. Higher people. <laughs> Higher people, right? Um, still working through this. So. Yeah, still working through the morning. Um, yeah. I have to play some Tetris with the cars. That sucks. So I have to move my car, move the other car. Did you bring everything you're supposed to bring today? I brought jack stands. You brought Jacksons. Is that? Oh yeah, we don't have. To, yeah, we have to go get that other stuff. So. I brought the Jacksons. Right, you got the Jacksons. Sorry, I throw the camera in your face, guys. He's not a morning person. <laughs> we lost an hour of sleep. I'm perfectly fine. I went to bed at eight thirty. Don't be a baby. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let Alex park, and we'll talk to you guys in a sec. Should I go over there? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. All right, so. This is Alex, you guys all know Alex, and this is also Alex. This is Alex, that's Alex, Alex, Alex. I'm Kevin, that's Alex, and Alex. Uh, Alex, owns the, Alex owns the other TC, which is uh, back there. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see. It's a little white, so on here, it's gonna be really white. So, uh, Alex, I am giving him money, so it's not just something he's giving me for free. We are replacing with Megan, uh, Megan, right? That's how you pronounce her company, yeah, Megan. Megan, yeah. Megan uh, Camber Arms, and also uh, BC Racing uh, Swift 
springs. Uh, we're doing 18 in the rear because I messed up my order. They're doing 18 in the rear, 16 in the front. And Alex promises me 18 is good for the back. Stancy. You'll be fine. Stancy. Very stancy. You'll be fine, he said. The car is already up off the ground. Um, you guys aren't going to be able to see from this side. Uh, the car is currently off the ground. Um, but yeah, we're going to work on all this We're going to start with the rear and... Yeah, yep. we're gonna start the rear. Start with the rear. Start with the rear. Always work from the back. <laughs> from the back. <laughs> God, working. All right, guys, we're gonna start working on this. Uh, we'll touch base with you guys once in a while. Uh, the only good thing is we're not replacing camber arm uh, con uh, coils. Uh, coil over struts. Struts in the yes, rear. Yes, no. The we're only are... we're only taking the spring out of the bucket, and luckily the camber arm has to come with it. So we're gonna do the camber arm and the spring at the same time for the rear. And then the front is a normal coilover design where I just have to make sure that I don't shoot. We do have yeah. spring compressors. I just gotta make sure I just don't shoot a spring into the middle of the roof. But if it does, it's exciting. Not into the car. Not into the car. <laughs> Maybe a tree. <laughs> Maybe a tree. <laughs> Alright, so well, we're gonna start working on this stuff, guys, and we'll uh, catch back up with you guys in a sec. <laughs> this was a day. Oh my. What a day. God. As you guys can tell, it is now dark out. Uh, we, we did run into a couple <laughs> snags here and there. Yep. Alex had to leave. He, uh, he had stuff to do for school. Um, but yeah, well, we're, uh, we're beat. <laughs> we're beat. Oh my god. But So yeah, so here's what, here's what we're doing, guys. Uh, of course, my wheels are black and it's dark outside. So <laughs> you guys might have to wait till tomorrow. I will refilm uh, a few cinematic clips for you guys while it's nice and sunny outside. But we are now nice and cambered in the rear. I guess, uh, it is a 30 mil spacer and we, we believe might be five, six, four, well, three watch camber. The TL's got negative five, negative six in the rear. And this looks about the same, so I'm gonna assume that it's Six. We're gonna assume that it's negative six. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna call it negative six, give or take a little bit, but yeah, I can't wait you guys, I can't wait you guys to check it out on a light. I'll make sure we uh we uh, take a look at it tomorrow together. Also, springs need to yes. settle. They're new. <laughs> we um we currently have let me let me pull up my trusty old flashlight here. We currently have a lot of wheel gap, like a lot. Um, we did have to kind of mess with the, the rear top hats. I will call BC tomorrow to yeah. see what we can do about that. See if there's a, like a spacer that we can get so that I can lower the rear more, but the rear should settle fine. Uh, the front also. The, the front's actually, we actually lowered and you could, like I said, it's kind of dark for you guys to see right now, but uh, like it is lowered. We lowered it more than what it was lowered. Yeah, than what it was lowered So before. it's going to camber out perfectly. What do you think we did in the front? Camber wise, three, three and a half, four maybe. So we're talking about a decent amount of camber in the front. Um, well, now we just gotta wait for them to settle. Of course, with brand new springs. I mean, we got 16k in the front and 18k in the rear now. Yep. Yeah. So, so they're yeah. gonna have some time to settle. Yeah, and they definitely need time. But. We're hoping that it settles enough for when we put on the lip kit, which is phase two. Um, it won't. 
be too low, but it will be low enough where it's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, and so my lip kit's gonna be here tomorrow. How are we gonna get this here, buddy? Huh? Uh, I have a Jeep. I take the Jeep, put them in the Jeep. I have a Suburban. <laughs> we could take the Suburban. <laughs> we could take this. The it's Suburban's bigger, here. And it's already here. Yeah, so we'll, if be. anything, we could, we could f figure out a way. And it might, who knows, it might fit in TC. A lot of stuff is uh, in Oh, the and uh, as much as it's sad to say goodbye, we got rid of the wind splitter. Because the lip kit's coming in, we figured give, give the bumper a nice time to relax because it was sagging uh, here. So we want to give it a nice time to relax and hopefully get some type of molding back. In my opinion, I'm a big fan of the OEM Plus type of look, and yeah. I think this lip I like the wind splitter. It did its job for they, what I wanted to. I've only, what, I, I had it for on for less than a year. You, when did, when did we install it? August? I had it on for like eight months. Yeah, so uh, something like that. So uh, not a full year, but... Uh, I think it's time for a change. I think this is going to be good. It was time for a change. It was definitely sagging. Um, if something we could technically do with the lip kit if we really want to in the future is add a splitter to it we could well so we make our own I'm not we would 100 percent make our own yeah i know we want to make it our own for the skyline and the subaru but yeah yeah sorry for kind of not being as much of a tutorial vlog we were just kind of really into it really trying to get through it and obviously because we started at what 11 o'clock this morning and it's currently 6 45 right now 6 45 and we're just running out of sunlight so luckily it was really warm today yeah I would have been miserable if it was cold. It's starting to get a chill now, but I think we're okay. I would have been miserable. I'm going to hope that uh, tomorrow's going to be 60 degrees. I'm going to be filming this thing tomorrow, cleaning the car. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, enjoy the cinematic. Bye.